Well, if you want to experience the best bacon and burger in the country, you don't have to go far. A group of chefs in the St. Louis area scorched the competition at the World Food Championships this year with three chefs coming home to St. Louis with championship titles. Yes, those three chefs are in the kitchen sponsored by More for Less Remodeling. Please welcome Chef Robin, Chef Javon, and Chef Jack. One, thank you for being here and congratulations. Absolutely. Thank you. That's thank coming you. from somebody who can't cook. <laughs> so I love to, when other people can because I get the benefits. So let's just jump right in. I want to start with you, Chef Robin. Tell me what you won for and what this means to you. Well, I uh, in the first round, I placed first. Um, I beat out two Michelin star chefs and um, was one of the first women to ever get to first place in my category. Um, in the second round, I lost by less than a point, but I was the only American to actually hit the top three, so that makes my burger the best burger in America <laughs> and the second greatest burger in the world. I know, now, I've had your cooking before. Yes, you have. When North Sarah Food Hub, you, Absolutely. Re you reminded me of that, and I do remember you whipping it up. Yes, yes. whipping it up. You remember the two? I do. Whipping it up. <laughs> but to me, it means everything to be able to just share a cultural experience experience. It's, it's just what it is. And then to have this great team makes it even better. And I want to talk to you too about that. So what's it mean to you? What's your take on this? And what did you win for? So I won first place in the chef category and I have to say it means everything, the world to me. It's, um, it's almost like um, always seeing the horizon and then now I'm able to look over that horizon and do better things and, and uh, you know, go to a different path, you know? I would say it, it would seem that it would fill you just to go harder and to try some new. Oh, absolutely. That's exactly what it does. Love that. All right. Mm -hmm. Jack Matt. Yes, sir. What do we win for? Sir. And what does it mean to you? Well, now I'm a two-time Bacon World Champion, and um, it, it's, I'm speechless still. It's just still soaking in uh, to, to, to get back to the top tier. And, you know, we're going to meet up in ben Bentonville, uh, Ar Arkansas, for the final table with the 12 champions for 150000 and uh, three years ago, we I lost by half a point on a hundred thousand dollars. So I'm going back for the win. So that's it means to get back to the final table, to represent St. Louis. You know, everyone loves bacon, 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 bacon. So uh, I'm super excited. Now anybody can answer this next question. Um, <laughs> St. Louis is just like none other. What do you feel like people miss out on here? Because I mean, this is a food hub. I would say cultural. There's all kinds of food, you know, besides Italian, besides barbecue. There's multi, you know, ethnic foods that are phenomenal, and uh, that's look for that. Mm -hmm. Anybody else want to stop at that? So, um, in the, the Midwest has some of the best food to offer. It's more so of a melting pot of all things. So, um, you, you can get anything, honestly, here. True. Mm -hmm. And technically, because we don't have so many resources, we have to rely on what we grow mm -hmm. in our region and make the best of those ingredients. And you'd be amazed that when you put so many cultures together, the diverse menu options that you have, it's a melting pot of flavor. Absolutely. Well, I think I just found where I am having Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> Again, thank you. Award-winning chefs right here in St. Louis. Congrats to you. Again, thank you for joining us this afternoon. Of course, we're going to post this segment following the show at firstalert4.com slash mystllive. I'm going home with them. Can, <laughs> Can they tell us where they're, where they're cooking now? Yes, where are you cooking now? So we are with Emoja Food Group over at Radio Test Kitchen, where we have a seven-course tasting menu, which we've all seasonally. Um, very super intricate, intricate stuff. We um, dabble with uh, molecular gastronomy a lot and um, play around with different flavors, techniques. We all come around every two months, have roundtable discussions about new menu ideas and that type of thing, bounce off of each other, you know. I feel like that's the best way to get better is being around iron. You know, iron sharpens iron at the end of the day. <laughs> See, and I struggle with how many teaspoons of sugar I put <laughs> in my cereal. So <laughs> just, just to let you, I'm also, I'm at Old Hickory Golf Club in St. Peter's. So, uh, and I met up with uh, Jawan Rice uh, three years ago at the Golden Ticket Qualifier, which was sponsored by Show Me Series that does uh, World Food Championships Golden Ticket Qualifiers, which are here around here local. So look for that next spring and summer. And speaking of which, um, we definitely can't go without saying thank you to uh, Mike McLeod um, and they hosted the World Food, the World Food Championships, I'm sorry, <laughs> in Indy and that was over a, almost a half a million dollars worth of prizes and our sponsor Natural Tableware um, for the sustainability for being able to just provide products that actually do good for the earth 
the world, the community, and without them, we wouldn't have been able to make this happen. So we thank you so much. That's Absolutely. awesome. Thanks, you guys. Thanks so much.